Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss quadratic inequalities. This involves illustrating the graph using the vertex of the parabola, opening, and test points. Now before I proceed to our lesson, I suggest that you watch first the video about quadratic functions so that you will have an idea on how to convert standard form to vertex form and the characteristics of quadratic graphs. Now going back to quadratic inequalities, its solutions are the points within the area of the inequality. Also, it is important that you know these inequality symbols, greater than and less than, means not included, so you will use a broken line when graphing or illustrating this inequality. For greater than equal to and less than equal to, that means included. So here you will use a solid line. For our first example, graph the solutions of y is greater than x squared. So the first thing that you have to do is to graph the parabola of this inequality. Here we may use the vertex form of the function given by y equals a times the square of quantity x minus h plus k to know the vertex. So this inequality can be written as y is greater than the square of x minus 0 plus 0. So the vertex is at point zero zero. Also, we know that the opening of the parabola is upward since the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term or a is positive. Now to know the other points of the parabola, we will construct a table of values. Here we will place the vertex at the center. Domain or x values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, and positive 2. For the range or y values, we will first set the inequality y is greater than x squared into equality. So that is y equals x squared. To know the values of y, we will substitute x values in this equation. When x is equal to negative 2, y is negative 2 squared or simply positive 4. When x is equal to negative 1, y is positive 1. That is negative 1 squared or positive 1. For x value of 1, y is also positive 1. And for x is equal to 2, y is equal to positive 4. Moreover, since the inequality symbol used is greater than, we will draw the parabola using a broken line. So observe that the plane is now divided into two regions, inside and outside of the parabola. Now to identify the solutions, we need to get test points from each region. Say for inside, I use the coordinate 0, positive 1. Substitute the values of x and y to the inequality y is greater than x squared, that will be 1 is greater than the square of 0 or simply 0. So we know that this statement is true. So we can now say that the solution set of the inequality y greater than x squared are the set of ordered pairs inside the parabola. Thus, we will shade this region. The graph would look like this. Now to check whether your answer is correct or not, you may get another test point, but this time outside the parabola. Let's say we'll take positive 2, positive 1. Substituting this coordinate in the inequality, y is greater than x squared, that will be 1 be greater than the square of positive 2. The square of positive 2 is positive 4. So obviously, this statement is false. Hence, it proves that our first answer is correct. The solutions are those found in the inside region of the inequality. For our second example, graph the inequality y is less than or equal to x squared plus 4x plus 5. Again, we need to rewrite the inequality into equality and then change into vertex form. Here we will follow a procedure similar to completing the squares. We first set aside the constant term positive 5. Next, we need to supply a constant that will make x squared plus 4x a perfect square trinomial. 
Here we will get the half of the linear coefficient 4 and then have it squared. Half of 4 is 2, square of that is positive 4. So expression on the right side will become quantity x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 5. Now notice that we added positive 4 on the original expression. So to make the value the same, we need to subtract positive 4. After that, we will now rewrite the perfect square trinomial x squared plus 4x plus 4 into a square of a binomial. That is the square of quantity x plus 2. Then for the constants, positive 5 minus 4 is positive 1. Thus, the vertex of the parabola is at negative 2, positive 1. Also, since the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is positive, its graph opens upward. Now, constructing table of values, setting the middle coordinate, the vertex, values of x are negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Using the vertex form, y equals the square of quantity x plus 2 plus 1 to solve for y. When x is negative 4, y will be positive 5. When x is negative 3, y is positive 2. For x value of negative 1, y is positive 2. And when x is 0, y is positive 5. Moreover, the inequality symbol used in this example is less than equal to, meaning we will use a solid line. Thus, the graph would look like this. Afterwards, we will get test points both in the inside and outside region of the parabola. For the inside point, let's use negative 2, positive 2. Substituting this in the inequality, y is less than or equal to x squared plus 4x plus 5. That will be 2 less than or equal to the square of negative 2 plus 4 times negative 2 plus 5. The square of negative 2 is positive 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Thus, the rightmost part of this inequality is 4 minus 8 plus 5 or simply 1. So as you can see, the statement 2 is less than or equal to 1 is false. Thus, we now have an idea that the solutions are those that can be found in the outside region of the inequality. But just to prove that that is correct, let us use a test point, let's say 0, 0. By the way, when selecting a test point, choose a coordinate that you can easily solve. So substituting this coordinate in the inequality, that will be 0 less than or equal to the square of 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 5. Performing the operation, you can see that 0 is less than 5, which proves the statement true. Hence, the solutions are the set of coordinates that is in the outside region of the parabola. For our third example, graph the inequality y is greater than negative x squared plus 4. In this example, notice that the linear term is missing. Don't worry because it is easier to identify the vertex when the quadratic expression is incomplete, just like in example number 1. Now, rewriting this into vertex form, y equals negative of the square of quantity x minus 0 plus 4. Thus, the vertex of the parabola is at 0, positive 4. Also, take note that the value of a or the quadratic coefficient is negative which implies that the opening of this parabola is downward. Now, constructing table of values where the vertex is at the middle, values for x are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and positive 2. For values of y, we will use the quadratic equation y equals negative x squared plus 4. So, when x is equal to negative 2, y is negative of square of negative 2, plus 4. The square of negative 2 is positive 4. Negative of that is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So when x is negative 2, y is 0. When x is negative 1, y is positive 3. When x is positive 1, y is positive 3. When x is equal to positive 2, y is 0. Also take note that the inequality used is greater than 
which means that we will use a broken line. The graph would look like this. Lastly, we need to identify test points, one inside of the parabola and the other one is in the outside of the parabola. For an inside point, let's use 0, 0 or the origin. Substitute this value in the inequality, y is greater than negative x squared plus 4, that will be 0, be greater than negative square of 0 or simply 0 plus 4. The statement 0 is greater than 4 is obviously incorrect or false. Try a point outside the parabola. Let's say positive 3, 0. Is 0 greater than negative of 3 squared plus 4? The square of 3 is 9. Multiply it by negative will result to negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. Thus, 0 greater than negative 5 is a true statement. So this means that the solutions for this inequality are the set of ordered pairs that is in the outside region of the parabola. Thank you for watching. God bless.